I'm gonna go flying off the edge of the map. You should actually- oh, please do that. <laughs> Welcome to Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2 is still the all-time goat on my list of first-person shooter games. Titanfall 2 has tried and tried time and time again to flatline either from people trying to kill it or being abandoned by its developer while they went to the store for cigarettes and it was left on the doorstep of the video game orphanage while it peeks back into the developer's 10 story mansion only to see that he has a new family or whatever. I'm not upset about it, I'm totally fine. <laughs> this Kareemer sound is still terrible. I forgot to take it off. <laughs> the curse sounds of the Kraber and no scoping people make my day. Cat or not, I love that. It almost makes me think of like a cat, ass, ass, or cat, cat, cat astronaut. I always said that once Titanfall 2 got custom servers and mods, it will become unkillable. Enter stage left, the savior of Titanfall 2 on PC, the North Star client. This gem was developed by Bob the Bob, who is an absolute legend with help from other various developers in the community. If you don't know what the North Star client is, it's a pretty amazing piece of software that allows Titanfall 2 players to create and play on their own custom servers, which essentially means we have seized the means of production from our greedy overlords that can play the game to our heart's content. This also leads to a lot of pretty amazing mod opportunities like entirely new game modes, new weapon skins, new models, and whatever the hell that is. And uh, oh my God. Now a word from our sponsor. The game just like feels bad for you. So it's like, hey man, here's your Titan brother. I mean, it's like a participation trophy in this game. Everyone gets a Titan. You get a Titan. You get a Titan. You get, you get a, a Titan. Titan. Everyone gets, oh no. Don't worry, I've got my honey, my golden honey badger from God Ghosts. Uh oh, he's too powerful to be alive. He's too powerful to go. That's even with all the new multiplayer modes and mods, the single player game is still there with tons of memorable moments like locating Captain Anderson. Imagine being so bad at time travel that you get stuck halfway through the floor. Like <laughs> how in the world are his legs and torso still attached through a floor? And my boy Viper, Viperino, the Vipster. I definitely recommend that if you picked up the game on sale or you know didn't, that it, you at least check out this component of the game. Honestly, the entire point of the single player game is just to protect Marvins. They are angels, gifts from Lord Gavin himself. No, no, don't, no, don't kill me. Hey, I'm peace, I'm peaceful. Bro, he is inciting violence against me on this server. You just join a server and the server's first message in the game is everyone kills so-and-so. So this grunt just has a Kraber and he's immortal. Like he can't die. Try that. <laughs> I was just gonna that try. is that is cheating. No, it's not. <laughs> All right, <park> <laughs> I shot and the bullet went above your head, and I was like, uh oh, not good. I went down a straight smooth monkey brain. I forgot. I oh, like I got my pet. Oh. <laughs> Quick spoiler warning there may be some spoilers. I'm gonna discuss the story just a little bit here. The single player campaign has you starting out as a grunt for the Frontier Militia fighting against the IMC, that's the Interstellar Manufacturing Corporation, to free the Frontier from their iron grip. Eventually, through uh, the loss of a certain person, you get promoted to a pilot, and you take ownership of a Vanguard-class Titan called BT. The game takes you on several key missions to destroy the Fold Weapon. Now think the Death Star. The Fold Weapon is alien technology found by the IMC that they could use to wipe out the Militia's home planet of Harmony. No bueno, can't let that happen. One thing about the single player I never understood is how a brand new pilot beats seasoned veteran mercenaries in the Apex Predators. I still got no clue. I guess you could just call it beginner's luck. Now on to the piece de la resistance, the only available on PC, North Star Client Multiplayer. This has genuinely breathed second life into this game for a multitude of reasons, but mainly because I get to play the game I love without getting kicked out every single match. I'm fine, you're fine, it's all fine, except for that guy. We're gonna play with the alternator. <laughs> no. 
No, don't do it. It should still have the middle finger. Boom. Oh, you gotta be and kill him. Like the Titan guns are meant for killing other Titans. So whenever you kill yeah. a pilot, it's just absolute overkill. Like you're shooting a rail gun, a literal handheld rail gun with that North Star Titan. Cool. So the moment it hits a pilot, yeah, you just explode. The gameplay that you know and love from the vanilla version of the game is largely the same, but I wanted to talk about some of the new things that Norster has to offer while also discussing Titanfall as a whole. The standard modes are largely there. You have attrition and PvP on a majority of the servers, but there are several gun games and sticks and stones servers up. There's also a new mode called Titan War, which is basically the PvE frontier defense turned into a sort of Moblitz style PvP mode. Now this mode was originally in the game and cut, which blows my mind. And it's actually fun, even though I'm a brain dead buffoon and had no idea what I was doing. It gives me flashbacks, like literal PTSD of my years and years of playing Dota 2. Oh God. There are turrets and harvesters and that is the main building that you need to blow up. The kicker is that you start as a pilot, but can only deal damage to structures as a Titan. So you have to farm grunts and pilots to earn it and then lay waste to the enemy structures. I will kill those who have wronged me and teabag them. Maybe I need to build a server that you like can't shoot guns on or something. Welcome to the fun police titan, population monarch. I should probably make him blue or something. He's an uncool, cringe, uh, non-swag monster. My pilot just gets shellacked with the North Star railgun round and just explodes. Now, where do you even start in the sea of death dealing weapons and titans that this game offers you? So many classes and so many options, so many different ways to cook an egg and so many different ways to kill a pilot. Most new players load in, get stomped on a couple times, and then they proceed to pitch a tent, get the biggest LMG or the long range rifle and they chill. I encourage you not to do that. Don't turn yourself into a grunt. Instead, reject camper, camper nitty and em embrace the wingman elite. Purple man exploded. Oh, oh, let's go. First shot. I don't miss. I just mean to not hit the guy, you know? Get him, get him. Oh, let's go. Didn't even miss a single shot. Whoa, I hit him. Oh, I want to be a cowboy, baby. Embrace the EPG. Oh. oh. Hit him. Let's go. Gray bird. No. Tell you what, I've seen more new players than I oh, 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 let's go get the double. Let's go. Embrace the craver. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Reloaded like a hundred times. Oh, 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 get the double. Thank you, triple. Oh, 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 oh. oh. embrace movement. That was strange. The guy's name Scotty destroys. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty doesn't know. Scotty's gotta go. Oh, no, 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 no melee. Oh, Scotty, Scotty. There are honestly so many different guns and I don't have the time or quite frankly, the desire to cover them all in this video. So I'm just gonna cover my favorites. My ego won't let me use guns I'm bad with. First off is the Wingman Elite. The gun is every rootin' tootin' titan shootin' pilot's dream. It's a two shot kill to the body and a one tap to the dome. It is incredibly hard to hit because it is annoyingly accurate to the little dot crosshair that you get on the screen. But there is nothing better than headshotting some poor pilot while traveling at Mach 10. Next is the Kraber sniper rifle. The cracking sound this gun makes strikes fear into the hearts of any pilot. Put it into the hands of someone capable and you have a formidable weapon that is a one shot kill to any part of the body at a distance, even the toes. No scopes are the most satisfying. Lastly, I highly recommend you try out the EPG. It reminds me a lot of the Quake rocket launcher. It's an instant jib on a direct hit and a two shot with splash damage. You'll have to get used to the projectile travel time, but when you rocket someone when they are just flying through midair, oh man, that just really tickles my. Here we go, dunking on somebody. And dunk. Oh. <laughs> Here we go, that's a good one. That was a good one. I'll tell you what, man, like ADSing in Titanfall is like visual assault. Peace, love, blessings, and hot dogs, baby. Nope. Oh, that grenade hit. 
Oh my goodness. There are also lots of Titan options to mess around with. Uh, my personal all time favorites are the North Star and the Ronin Titans, which both happen to be the ones with the lowest health pools, but they can smack just about any Titan on this list, except for that thing. I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Ah, the Scorch Titan. Welcome to Papa Scooch's barbecue slaughterhouse of pain. Scorch's favorite pastime is committing war crimes. To him, it's just the Geneva suggestions. Oh, got him! <laughs> I'm so bad with this Titan. This is my worst Titan. It's not even close. You get the idea. Scorch is basically an S tier Titan when used by the right pilot. When I use it with my smooth brain IQ lower than my shoe, I just get absolute shit stop enemy Titans. Scorch is one of those Titans that if piloted by someone who knows what they're doing, then there is only one logical response. Run. Back to the North Star Titan. This Titan is the flying Titan of death used by Viper, Viper Boy, Viper AK, the flying mustachioed macho man. This Titan shoots a literal rail gun that you charge up to increase damage. Shooting pilots is like playing duck hunt. She also comes with tether traps and cluster bombs. Now I highly recommend you try running double tether and nuke eject. Not because it's good, it is terrible. Not because you'll win. What's about sending a message? Now the Ronin is the best pilot sushi chef on this side of the frontier and he really, really enjoys making pilot sushi. That's about it for him. There are also several other Titans, you know, don't care, don't care. Oh, forgot the Ion. This Titan is somehow shown as the beginner Titan, but honestly, I find the Ion to be one of my favorites and it's actually hard to learn how to manage the energy system. But once you do, it is GG, no re, no WP, nothing. Juicing pilots with the laser shot makes life worth living. Also, Monarch is the worst. The last of the major player options are the Tacticals, which in a movement game, it's really no surprise that the two best quote unquote ones are related to the movement. Being able to swing around like Spooderman or speed up with the touch of a button makes Titanfall's already amazing movement even more fun. Phase shift, which lets you duck into another dimension. You know, I was over here, but now I'm there trick. Cloak is fine. It's super effective against pilots. AWOL is every camper's favorite tent. Hollow pilot is the worst tactical in the game, which makes it even better when you finally successfully bamboozle somebody. It's hard to sort of sum up what Titanfall 2 multiplayer is all about. And that's one of the reasons that I love the game. As I've kind of talked about, there are so many different ways to play it and so many tools to run literally hundreds of different kinds of play styles. Do you want to try to be a grenade boosting maniac? Do you want to run gravity stars to tether a pilot to their nuking Titan? Do you want to role play as a turret? Do you want to be Spider-Man, but with a Barrett 50 cal? You get the idea. Hey son, I wanted to talk to you. I know religion's imp important and all, but I think you might be taking it up. Well, look at that. You made it to the end. Uh, I am so, so sorry for what you just had to watch, but uh, thank you so much for making it here, I guess. And as a reward, you get to see my ugly face. Uh, but I'd be remiss if I didn't mention a couple of things about Titanfall 2 and also 2023 uh, specifically to my channel. Titanfall 2 is not in the best place on consoles and also on vanilla PC. I mean, you get kicked out every so often and you, it's really, really tough to find matches. So really without the North Star client, uh, it's tough to play the game consistently. PlayStation and Xbox will probably never, ever see a version of the North Star client. It's just not going to happen. So please be aware of that. Uh, if this video has convinced you to try Titanfall, I hope you did it just for the single player because it's that good. Please buy it on sale though but just be aware that the multiplayer not might not work at all it might not work consistently so that's always a big problem and i'm back into content creation which feels really great uh, my videos are now going to follow this format for the most part you know for the foreseeable future uh if it's a game that i've never played before or never covered then it's going to be review style along with some uh, bits and pieces of funny stuff I really want to make funny content that can just be shared and rewatched and rewatched over and over again uh, i felt like with news and the commentary style stuff that i was doing before really once you watch it once and you get the message of the video, it's kind of, you're never going to watch it again, really. There's no point in watching it again over and over and over. All my videos basically be a backlog of endlessly rewatchable content that someone can always come back to if they so choose to do that. Now, 2023 will be a breakout year for me if I really get into this. At least that's what I tell myself. Thank you guys again for watching and supporting me. Uh, I really, really appreciate you guys. Honestly, it does not go unnoticed how supportive my viewers are and have been since I started back in March of 2021. But thanks again, guys, and I'll see you all very soon. Uh -huh.